So one thing I want to just put on here because one of the terms, and Chris uses it a lot, <clears throat> we talk about just conflict or being conflict averse. And as a society, we've really gotten into this mindset of that, of not wanting to uh, participate or engage in any type of conflict, right? Well, where I think for our purpose today, um, there is conflict within you as an individual that I also think you need to have and get past, right? Uh, as kind of, again, step one of one. And that is a once you have identified that there are other opportunities and other places and other things that you want to accomplish, there's that conflict of that voice as you were just talking about, Jerry, saying, I can't do it or I'm going to fail or the race is already over. You've So that's a fight that you have to have out of the box right there at the very beginning. And, and so the question then becomes, if I'm so conflict averse to even have that battle, what are my chances of succeeding at what the quote unquote next level of something like that. So um, that that's one thing I think really mentally to start to talk about. And, you know, Vince mentioned your subconscious mind and how to, getting that in check. And that's another small area of I'm going to use the term conflict within that you have to be able to master and move your way past. What if in um, conflict aversion, it was actually thought of differently where it's like, fear on the other side of fear is peace. Because I think there's actually kind of a linear pattern. I think that's the main thing that I want to show. As we said to begin, you are where you belong. Well, that or may or may not be true, but I am where I am, which is what Jerry stated earlier. And that's very true. Now, once you've established that, then it's OK, where do I want to be next? Right. So and now the what choices do I need to make to start to make that happen? So that's all part of that evolutionary mindset that we need to start to be able to develop and move ourselves forward. But how do we do that? Is it just choice? Is it community? Uh, is it our social circles that we, is it going out and getting more education so we feel more comfortable? Uh, what are some of the different things that we can do or should do to start to move ourselves forward step by step by step. Vince, what, what are your thoughts, especially coming from an academic standpoint? I know we've talked about how that's not always the answer, but sometimes it is. So what's your perspective on that? You know, one of the things that's been, been top of mind as I evolve myself is the idea around manifestation. So, it was, I just talked about this with my therapist last week too, <clears throat> you know, manifesting what my life, I, what I want my life to be, how I want to show up, how, you know, it, 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 it then can align to, you know, how am I living my truest life? How am I living in, in what is coined flow state where my life and my values are aligned where I am living my best life. And <laughs> I, I, I don't do this well enough yet, but I'm, I'm working on this and I'm appreciating the fact that I am l learning through this, this whole experience of, you know, it's, uh, it's seeing who I wanna be, it's setting those goals and then, and then being okay with where I'm at. So being content with it and not being angry with myself for that. So that self-reflection piece is really important because you are your own worst, most critical, whatever. And then moving past that and saying, okay, this is where I'm at and I'm okay with it. This is not how I wanna show up and I'm okay with it. This is who I will be and I'm moving towards it. And this is what it looks like. This is how I, I talk. This is the vocabulary I, I use. These are the types of individuals that I surround myself. And these are some of the things that we discuss and find value in. These are some of the things that I do and find value in. Uh, and, and a lot of that, you know, as we've talked about this, really comes down to my own self-image myself. If I believe that I'm a valuable individual to myself, if I believe that I add value and I'm happy and I'm content to myself, 
without all that extrinsic, that external kind of factors looking in and saying, oh, you should be here. I mean, that was, I would say that was my biggest challenge as, as the whole repeating cycle is, oh, I should be here. I should be making this some money. I should be at this status level. I should be, you know, the, the image to which uh, our culture or our cultures define us has been my bi biggest challenge because it was not something that I was feeling in line in flow state. 